Today's check mark is a Marxist in academia. What's new? So Richard D. Wolff is some Marxist professor that is apparently taught in multiple institutions, including the University of Massachusetts. Now, I don't think that every professor in academia are Marxist. I'd actually argue that most from an economic standpoint are Keynesians, but both of those take the credibility out of academia. Now I, along with many other folks have said, there's a lot of garbage being pumped out by professors. And to confirm that we look no further than Richard D. Wolff. Wolff says the rational solution to capitalism's inequality is not wealth redistribution. That deepens the rich versus poor social conflict. Instead, distribute the income much more equally in the first place. Capitalism cannot do that, it never has. This is a 76 year old economics professor saying something that's incredibly silly. Let's start with the first portion where he talks about wealth inequality. I mentioned in my last video that inequality of wealth is not inherently bad as people are not equal in action, productivity, or preference. That alone highlights the simple fact that people will not be equal in terms of wealth, and there's nothing wrong with that. So he's right that capitalism does have inequality and that capitalism cannot distribute income equally. But that's not the intention or goal of capitalism. People acting freely, aka where capitalism is allowed to exist, ensures that scarce resources are allocated most efficiently. This is something that Marxism cannot ensure, but to be fair, that's not the goal of Marxism either. Instead, it treats the individual like they aren't individuals because it presumes that we are equal, hence them wanting to to abolish economic classes or all classes. The Marxists would rather the individual be slave to the group and for everybody to be equal in classes, no matter the productivity or skill and talent of that individual. Their entire view of economics isn't really economic at all. The idea that people are equal in labor, or rather said labor has inherent value is purely nonsensical. Hell, economizing is the only way that you can truly indicate the worth or value of said labor. And as the markets find the most useful skill sets, that in combination with how scarce that skill set is will determine the price of the labor. And this is what continues to incentivize people to learn these skills and attributes as well as innovate. So the Marcus is advocating that we spread income equally, though people aren't equal in how they are gaining this income by being valuable in the market. Again, this is depriving people of self-determination and individuality, but it shows how you know comfortable the Marxists are. They overemphasize an abundance of certain goods. Now, abundance in the economic sense is not the opposite of scarcity. Scarcity exists everywhere as there is not enough of any resource to satisfy the desires of every single person. The abundance that I'm referencing that the Marxist ignores is the fact that it is relatively easy and cheap to get certain goods. For example, food in America. I went to the grocery store the other day. I bought a bunch of chicken breasts for like $7. I also bought some rice and a bunch of broccoli. And with less than $20, I prepared 11 individual meals. And there's so much food at this grocery store. And as I'm shopping, there's a hundred other people at the same store shopping for food as well. There's so much food that there's food going bad or expiring. This is the abundance. The Marxist looks at this abundance and sees a problem because there are people that are hungry and food is getting thrown out. There's enough to just give everybody food for free. Nobody should be hungry. This ignores the fact that some people are in their economic situations because of their own doing. So just because there are individuals that can't afford it doesn't mean that there's a wrongdoing. This certainly does not negate the simple fact that there are people that can afford it even some people that are considered in poverty can afford food. This is how there's a difference between someone that's poor in America and someone poor in a third world country. But the Marxist ignores the reason that this abundance exists in the first place. It doesn't exist because someone is forcing people to supply food for everybody. It exists because individuals are acting voluntarily in the market and are for the most part determining the prices. People want to make money and providing food lines the pockets of the people that are selling it. This sounds like 
like a nightmare to the socialists or communists. But anybody with economic sense understands that this is why food is relatively cheap. Price fixing or forcing people to give somebody food is how you get shortages and famines. So Marxists like Wolf and others simply look at the abundance while ignoring how the abundance came to be as well as the alternatives to that. So they want the administration of socialism but the productivity of capitalism. This is why it isn't a stretch to say that the Marxists are the leeches though they like to claim that the capitalists are the ones that are leeching. People move up and down economic classes throughout the years. You can go from poor to rich, rich to poor, middle to either or. The problem is that politics are used to ignore or try to negate economics, and this is dangerous. People use the state and politics to ensure their economic classes, or worse, the economic classes of others. This is why we need to get rid of the state power, the taxation, the regulation, and the forceful redistribution of people's income. Ironically enough, the Marxists need the state to ensure this forceful redistribution, which is why the elites don't mind funneling this hot garbage via academia through folks like Richard D. Wolf. This guy is a mark. This is the perfect video to be a capitalist. Remember that I am funded by my audience, so be sure to visit my Patreon where you can become a patron and help me pump out these videos more frequently. You get all sorts of perks like vlog requests and merchandise depending on how much you donate. Visit patreon.com slash ericdjuly for more info.